You know, after the scare we had last episode, this is all- this is very therapeutic. God, that was terrifying. So we'll go back to some more Earthbound, where last time, we saved the world once again by saving Threed and taking down the Trillion Inch Sprout, and decided to cause chaos in the world by going into the circus tent. I have never been able to crash the game like that before. I have gotten it to where it's gotten stuck into logic loops, but never, never have I ever had that happen to me. Needless to say, the circus tent is a very dangerous thing. So, we're back in the world. I don't know if I've already gotten the... No, I haven't. All right, I'm going to skip ahead of this because apparently I forgot to do this before uh, starting this episode. All right, that's done. Before heading out towards Foreside, there's a little side quest we can take care of. Inside the hospital, I'm gonna head upstairs, and we're gonna head the first door on the left, and check this drawer. Insignificant item. And how would you know that this is here? I don't know. Although, in Tucson, there was a guy that mentioned that he had left something in the Threed Hospital. So, I'd say, let's go and bring that back to him. So, I'll meet you guys back in Tucson. Actually, wait. I think next to the hospital. Or, oh, yeah, ne or no. Wait, 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 where? Next to the hotel. Okay. I had to read my notes carefully because I wasn't sure what I was really reading. Now that the bus is back in business, we should be able to. Hotel. Do not stand in the street. Oh, derp. Okay. Uh, is this the one that I want? They should tell me if it, if this is the one. Finally, you make us run to Tucson. Yes. Okay. Heading to Tucson. Back in Tucson. Pretty convenient. The buses are actually pretty useful in this game, unlike other games. So, let's start talking restoration. The world is pretty much healed at this point. There are some enemies out in the world still, but as of right now, there's nothing out in the world. First of all, in Tucson, Everdred is completely gone. He's not here, which is kind of strange and kind of terrifying, but yeah, no, he is completely gone. A couple other things that I will mention but won't go out of the way to show because we have to walk a long distance for it. In Onet, there's new a dialogue with Liar Exaggerate, who basically just said that he sold the Mani Mani statue off and then somebody else took it. And also, Pokey's house in Onet is abandoned completely except for Picky. Picky's the only one there still. Anyway. Uh, tip top health. Wish I had more visitors. That's not the guy I wanted to talk to. Alright, where is the guy? Or no. Oh, I have to show it to him. Derp. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that some things you have to use. So, on Paula, use. Thank you. You made me so happy. After my life, this is the second most important thing to me. Because you're so kind, I want to give you this magic truffle. It's a souvenir from Scaraba. Magic truffle. You would think that this thing's pretty insignificant, right? Wrong. Dreamlike delicacy that is said to grow at the base of trees in wet, muddy places. Restores 80 PP! We're gonna be holding on to that because that's a very rare item. Magic truffles are very limited in this game. You can't buy them and there's only very few spawns for them in the game and they're only one-time spawns. We won't see where they come from for a very long time, but... 
just keep that in mind. Anyways, another place that has been restored, kinda, is Happy Happy Village. If you go to Happy Happy Village, you'll see that Car Painter is actually helping out with the restoration of his village, and he regrets what he did, and now he's just trying to live a honest, good life. Anyways, up. Uh, no, I don't want to call Dad. No, shut up, Dad. No, good luck. Thank you. Okay, Escargo. Because I need to deposit that magic truffle. I do not want that on me because, again, magic truffles are very rare. So, yeah. I would go out of my way to go all the way to those places, but we're so far in the game at this point that, like, it would just take up way too much time, and they don't give you anything. So, that's why I'm just mentioning it. I'm not going over there, at least not for now. So, I want to get rid of the sprig of parsley, because I don't want that. I'll get rid of... The... Man, I still have the pizza. Get rid of the magic truffle. And I want to get rid of... I could sell the hard hat later. I'm not concerned about that. Um, you know what? This PSI caramel is just sitting here. Just, yeah. Get rid of all this stuff. If I need it, I can grab it later. Anyways. Now that that's done. I am going to hoof it all the way back to Threed. Because I'm an idiot. So... I'll meet you guys back in three. Yay, I get to fight you again! Never mind, you died instantly! <laughs> no! Back in... T uh, I was about to say Tucson. Back in three. I've decided to hoof it over here because we haven't really seen this side of play, uh, the town. I thought there was something more to you than just your smile. Don't know if you're trying to be facetious or complimentary, but... There's nothing left for us in three. We have nothing left to do here, so we want to go and start heading down towards, uh, okay, where's a bus stop, actually? Does it tell you? No. I mean, I don't need the bus stop. Oh, you got some more people down here. After the bus has started running again, I decided to come see my boyfriend. I really shouldn't have, though. Whoa, dude, like, my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bummed, because I have another girlfriend here in Threed. I want to kick you in the balls. <laughs> Check him out. I think he's the beasties. Oops, I mean, way cool. He used to be in a band. I feel bad for that girl. Eh, not much you could do. There's some guys that are like that, and I don't know why. Seriously, like, why do you cheat? Finally, we can get, again breathe the deep, uh, uh, deep the outside air. Now that the zombies are gone, ugh, I can't snore, and I'm sorry. The outdoors is so refreshing. I'm still sick, if you couldn't tell, so yeah, there's no way in hell I was going to try to do that snort. Oh, God, I. Okay, where is a bus stop? Is there any... Okay, there, right in front of the hotel on this side. Check the bus schedule. Next bus... Uh, yeah, next bus is pretty soon. Pretty soon, my ass. Damn, it was instant. Going to Forside. Can't you let you on? Six stars for the fair. Yes, we're off. Now, there's something interesting here on this bus ride that I want to mention. And if we see... Okay, yeah, that guy. You can't talk to that guy normally. There's another guy here, too, that I don't know where he's at. But if you were able to talk to that guy, he would have said, I wanted to catch one of the ghosts in the tunnel and keep it as a pet. I'm just teasing. I can tease like that now that they're gone. More interestingly, there's another guy that you can't talk to, but you can see him on the bus ride. And he would say, I'm a detective from Tucson. The statue called Mani Mani or something was stolen from Happy Happyism headquarters. Do you have any clues for me? If you say yes, he goes, oh, I see. If you say no, he goes, don't feed me your lies. Man, it's a, it's bumper to bumper. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. I am glad I've never been in that situation. And welcome to the desert! This traffic jam is taking forever! Man, do I need to go? Just keep it to yourself, lady. Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam! I feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent, I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. I heard that a little ways are, uh, ahead is, uh, yeah, a little ways ahead, I heard a buffalo is running across the road. It can't, I can't move an inch! Yeah, nothing we can do to get past this traffic jam, so we're hoofing it from here. If we had that over here... Yeah, I'll take some drugs. Don't take it out of context. So, first of all, 
We are also running an inn, mister. It's 210 bucks a night if you want to stay here. Hell no! Our beds are really old and dusty. Nice. So this is a normal shop. Uh, Mr. Baseball Bat, I will gladly take that. Uh, yes. Thank God I had space. 79 and 91, I will gladly take that. Alright, what else can we get? Thick fry pan, deluxe pan, I will gladly take that. As per usual, in a newer area with a shop, you do want to go and take the time to upgrade. Um, uh, coin of slumber. I might grab that, I don't know if I will. And this guy's also a shop. Um, he has some cool stuff, I'll buy a wet towel. Uh, give that to Jeff. And then, what else can I get? Nothing really. We can actually buy picnic lunches now, which is kind of nice. Uh, do I really need the... 47... Ask... I'm, oh, okay, hold on. How much money do I have? Okay, yeah, we can afford that. That's fine. Uh, give me a thousand and... 300. 1300. Might as well get the coin of slumber. It's not gonna hurt, so... We have so much money as it is. Equip it. Yeah, 47 to 62. That is definitely an upgrade. We are good to go. So the desert here is kind of strange. First of all, you can see that we're not sweating when we're on the road because apparently roads are magic. And for some reason, there is a bull playing rough. And you're thinking, this is a new enemy, right? No. It's just a bull playing rough from Lilliput Steps. Why? Well, it's kind of weird. So, the mole playing rough is there to kind of catch you in case if you did some weird stuff. There's stuff, uh, we've seen this before where um, if we didn't kill Mondo Mole before taking down, or after taking down Happy Happy Village and all that, that it would, or, what am I trying to say? When the world was peaceful and if we go and try to get killed by Mondo Mole, you would just get soft locked. That mole playing rough is there as a countermeasure in this area, just in case if something like that were to happen. If you kill the um, mole playing rough, then it would just reset your game to an instance to where you wouldn't get soft locked, basically. Uh, otherwise, it's just kind of here. <laughs> Anyways, this place is huge. And it also has a weapon dealer. We don't need any of these, actually. Later, nerd. So, got a magic butterfly and a monkey. Welcome. Our paradise exists be uh, beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. We'll talk about that monkey in a later point. But first of all, new enemies. We got to the cute little UFO. These guys are actually kind of cool. They're mostly healers. They can attack you. They're kind of like the little UFOs we saw back in Peace Forest Valley. But here's the cool thing with them. They always leave behind a pro- You dropped a pizza. Holy crap. Yeah, they could drop a bunch of random stuff. That was a bad timing. Just have another enemy, the Scalpion. Uh, Poison Singer. Oh, great. And he got poisoned. Great. And I'll talk about Sunstorm. Why do you have PSI Alpha? Oh, or th Thunder Alpha. Okay, this thing needs to die now. Jesus. So, yeah. Sunstroke is a new ailment. It's basically the heat stroke version. Or, well, it's basically cold. It's pretty much cold system. Or er, system? Sis. Yep. Cold status. Jesus. Then heal off that. And I think I could just use Alpha for Sunstroke. Yep. That's good. You can already tell that. That's just gonna be our primary healer for the rest of this because items are just too much to carry. Inventory space is too much of an annoyance. So these are say, if you have items, use them. If you don't, then you know, good luck. So, uh, oh god, we got one of these guys and another new enemy: the Smiling Sphere and the Crested Buka. Smiling Spear, like the Territorial Oaks, can explode when killed. And by can, I mean absolutely will explode when killed. Otherwise, it just does physical attacks. Along with that, they have a 1 in 128 chance to drop the Meteorium, if you so wish to have that. The Crested Buka are just tanky. They have a normal physical attack, and they can do a war cry. 
As per usual, save the exploding enemies for later, kill the things that do not explode first. Because they can hurt. Smiling fear uh, smiling spheres really hurt. They're basically just more powerful territorial oaks, so. Try to fire Alpha, forgot they had that. Great. Just try to kill this thing. Also, very cool battle music here. I didn't even realize this had this. Uh, hurry! There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Poor Paula, she's almost died twice. Level 31. That's pretty nice. And level 28 on Paula. And there's something interesting that I do want to show. Um, just do that. First of all, why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame seed or sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. Yep, it's a photo opportunity. And why is there a black sesame seed out in the middle of the desert? I don't know. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Instant memory. Look at the camera. Say fuzzy pickles. Speed run much. Great photograph! Bring back the fondness of memories. Right. So, you bit up high. We sweep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't actually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. Annoying kids, what a group of brats. Scat, you little monsters. Okay, but you're, you're, you're just being... I'm just a pile of bleached bones. I can't talk. You just did. Something interesting I want to show. Uh, I hope, I think it's around here. That's the monkey. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it is. There's a really good way to grind in this place. And I want to, uh, that's the scalpion. Uh, I always get poisoned by those stupid things. I want to check, does uh, healing... Yeah, no, I have to use beta. Okay. At least I checked before I started going willy-nilly. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the desert, so just get used to this music that can kind of make you go crazy. Okay, it's here. Uh, well, that's not the enemy I want, but... There's a really good method of spawning an extremely rare enemy. And I'm hoping that this is the case here. I've done this before, so I know it works. Why is this thing just constantly chasing me? Leave me alone. Get stuck on those guys. Okay, really? Screw you, stupid UFO. Thing ended up dropping a hamburger. Um, speaking of which, I'm actually... I'm gonna use the pizza, actually. Because that heals a lot. Okay. Oh my god, why is there so many of you guys? Jesus. So I'm hoping... Oh my god, these stupid UFOs, they do not... Wait, stop! <sighs> I'm gonna, uh, okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna talk in the middle of this fight because there's so many damn UFOs out here. There's an enemy that can spawn, or there's a rare enemy that can spawn here called the Criminal Caterpillar. Uh, I hope that does not kill Jeff. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to heal him next turn. Yeah, I really want to find this thing because a boiled egg. Man, you guys really like dropping items. Uh, where is the egg? There it is. Give that to Jeff. Just have him eat a bunch of stuff. Because I want to say PSI as much as I can. Hamburger. There we go. Okay. Can I ignore you? Yes, I can. Okay. There's a really good way of spawning this enemy if I can get it to do that. Uh, okay, God. These enemies. The desert's really bad with enemy spawn, so just bear with it. Or bear with the game. If you go to south here and then up... Usually, I can get it to spawn pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's a scalpion. I think it's here. I'm pretty sure it's here. Uh, I guess just... Oh, great. Somebody needs some stroke. All right. Heal. Alpha. I'll do a couple rounds of this, and if I don't get it to spawn, then I'll try to find it naturally, but it is a rare spawn, but if you find it, ooh, boy, if you find it, it is very well worth your time. So, again, I can't exactly remember what location I would need to be in. I think, I'm pretty sure it is over here that it can't spawn, because I remember coming down here. Uh, UFO, no. Uh, that's a scalpion. I hope it doesn't see me. Nope. Okay. I'll do at most three more times, because I don't want to be sitting here forever. Uh, 
Nope. And somebody Sunstroke again. Ah, Sunstroke is so annoying. I gotta heal that off too. Uh, eat a hamburger, Jeff. Okay. Let's see. Number two. Nope. It's this. I'm not gonna. Okay, really, Scalpion? Real? Oh my god. That Scalpion just refuses to go away, huh? Come on, let me actually have it. There it is! Hey, hey, hey! Get back here, get back here, get back here, get back here, get back here! Yes! They always die in one hit when you backstab them and they try to run away. 10,000 XP! These guys drop a crap ton of XP when you kill them. And here's the best part. They can respawn. That's why I didn't go crazy with grinding off the foppies back in Belch's base. Because this is a pretty conven uh, uh, convenient way to spawn these guys. I just got another spawn here. That I am not going to take credit for because I did not find this tech. When I was doing research on this game, I found an article by Tomato on Starman.net who had this pretty much locked down to a T. So thank you to Tomato on uh, Starman.net for that because uh, holy crap, that is a really good way to grind. So I'm going to see if I Oh god, hi, Smiling Sphere. Uh, god, there's so many of these. I don't want to go crazy with... Really? That's what I get for going crazy with it. Alright, Smiling Sphere, what are you going to do? ton of damage. So yeah, if you really want to, you can't just sit here and grind off the criminal cow uh, caterpillars, like, a ton, if you so wish. I'm going to at least limit myself to one more because I don't want to steamroll through everything in the game. It's not really hard to spawn these guys either, it's just luck, that's all it is. But, uh... Again, I don't want to steamroll through everything, so... If I see it again, I'm going to do one more pass on this, and then I'll... Oh, God. Well, I don't want to fight all the damn enemies here. Jesus, and somebody Sunstroke again. Oh, my God. This time it was Ness. Speaking of Sunstroke, now that uh, we're just kind of walking around... Sunstroke is interesting. In that Paula and Jeff have a higher chance of getting Sunstroke than Ness. Why is that, you may ask? Well, nothing in the code really states it for fact, but it's pretty much colloquially known that because Ness has a baseball hat on, he blocks the sun better. I think that's kind of cool. There's a lot of hidden little things like that. Thank God for Magic Butterfly. I do not want to heal by paying $210 for an inn. And we found an oasis. Skip sandwich. Nice. I see monkeys live in the sea. Desert monkeys live in the desert. Wait, desert, not dessert. I am happy that there are animals in the desert. Are you, aren't you? To an extent. Uh, I'm not happy with this animal, though. We have the desert wolf. Uh, they're really not that dangerous. They can poison you. That's about it. They don't really do much. And level 30 on Paula. So, yeah. Just from those two criminal caterpillars, like... Dear God, we have, we got so many levels just off of that. It's ridiculous. Oh God, please don't attack me. Okay, good. More magic butterflies. Uh, I can easily take advantage of you. So let's heal up on Ness. The thing I recommend the most about the desert is go in here with the mindset of you're going to be here for a while. The, the desert is huge. There's a lot of items and they're easily missable. So just keep that in mind. I do recommend staying on the perimeter first. A couple life noodles. I will gladly take that. There's the black sesame seed. So try to use some landmarks around the area to kind of know where you are. The black sesame seed is a good one. Some presents around the areas are also good for that. So just keep looking around. The criminal caterpillar can kind of just spawn anywhere. Just that little route that I was showing you. Uh, oh, this thing. Uh, that spot is something shiny. There's a set of contact lens uh, lenses. And we have a sign down here. I lost a pair of contact les uh, lenses here in the Dusty Dunes Desert. They are a memento from my grandma and very important to me. Find them, bring them to me, and I'll bring you a reward. I'm Penitel uh, Penitella Giovanni. Find me at the Foreside Bakery, second floor. Okay, we have to keep that guy in mind. Thanks for the sign out in the desert. And we'll just keep looking around here. I'm not going to spend much more time in the desert because we are almost out of time. PSI Caramel, I will take it. I hope you guys don't get mad that I call it caramel. I've always called caramel caramel, not caramel. 
Caramel always just sounded weird to me. Sun Guts Pill. I haven't even used the one I have. Um, and I've yet to use the Wet Towel. I, I want... Okay, get rid of the Hard Hat. The thing I want to talk about with the Wet Towel is that it's a weirdly bugged item. Where if you get a cold, it also heals the cold for some reason. I think it's just because the cold and Sunstroke are coded to be the same thing, kind of. So, that's why that is a thing. So, we haven't seen the... Uh, the white sesame uh, seed yet, but there's this guy. This hole's great! Good hole, good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, I'm, am I starving. Do you have any food you could spare? Seems like I have a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? Take the... I was about to give him the stag beetle. Uh, take a protein drink. Thank you. If I find gold, I'll give it to you. You do want to do that for later. And our final stop, this place. It's a small house, but please stay the night. I didn't even get a choice. There we go. Before I end things off, I'll talk more about the criminal caterpillar. You can get into a fight if you let it backstab you. you the only way to do this is to, well, run up to it and then immediately flick back on the stick or try to turn around immediately once you get in contact with it. These guys can actually hit pretty hard if they attack you, because they can use PSI Fire Alpha, but that's pretty much it. They're easy to kill, not much to say there. But, that's... Oh, oh and I, I also wanted to mention too, I forgot to mention this with Paula. Uh, PSI Shield Sigma, or is it, yeah, Sigma. That's the same move that Buzz Buzz had. Yeah, we're up to his level now, already, which is kind of insane. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end things off for this one. So, next time on Earthbound, we're going to be continuing to cross the desert and find more stuff as we please. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.